From extraterrestrials invading the planet to time travel paradoxes, sci-fi horror has always had a captivating allure for film fans. Sure, the likes of Alien and The Fly were instant hits, but there are plenty of solid sci-fi horror features that took considerably longer to be appreciated. With that in mind, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are 10 more great sci-fi horror movies no one ever talks about. Number 10. Underwater Underwater begins with a deep sea facility being struck by a cataclysmic earthquake. As water bursts in through every seam, marine engineer Nora sprints through the flooding corridors looking for a way out. Once the aquatic life starts attacking the survivors though, things become far more nerve-wracking. The entire cast here is exemplary, with this Kristen Stewart as the one who shines brightest. You can see the wheels turning in her head in each scene as Nora attempts to find solutions to her party's mounting problems. Even though the secrets are dangerous, Underwater emphasizes a more imposing threat that few sci-fi films acknowledge, that being pressure. Since the crew are in the Mariana Trench, they must contend with the crushing weight of the literal ocean. If a diver's suit or a room isn't depressurized correctly, the team can implode in an instant. Although science fiction often ignores the science part, acknowledging the dangers of pressure adds a gargantuan obstacle to the group, compounding the tension. Number 9. Beyond the Black Rainbow this 2010 avant-garde thriller follows a psychic named Elena who's been imprisoned for years in a secluded institute. Beyond the Black Rainbow juggles a myriad of complex ideas including transcendence, new age beliefs and social control. And since these concepts are vaguely explored, a lot of people may be left saying, uh, don't really get it. Because of the minimal dialogue and exposition, viewers would assume this psychotropic head spinner would rely on visual storytelling. And although Beyond the Black Rainbow contains tons of striking imagery, that doesn't really help convey the plot. Instead, the eerie images convey a feeling. They elicit a great sense of fear and paranoia, keeping viewers fully invested, whether or not they understand what the hell is going on or not. The atmospheric synth-based score also deserves some special mention, since it effortlessly enhances the animosity and unease that's lurking in every scene. Beyond the Black Rainbow may be bewildering, disturbing, and occasionally indecipherable, but it's sure to satiate any horror enthusiast. Number 8. Color Out of Space Despite H.P. Lovecraft's talent as a science fiction guru, the film industry has had immense difficulty adapting his work. Having said that, 2019's Color Out of Space absolutely nails it, perfectly invoking the cosmic horror which the Chitolo creator is renowned for. When an interdimensional meteorite crashes near the house of Nathan Gardner, he and his family try to understand where it came from. Later on, a sentient light called The Color bursts from the otherworldly rock, altering everything it comes into contact with, physically and mentally. For the longest time, Color Outer Space focuses more on sci-fi tropes, which might test the patience of horror loyalists. But when the scares kick off, you'll find yourself paralyzed by fear, especially during that attic sequence. Rather than relying on the dark to build tension, though, Color Outer Space uses, as the title suggests, color. Although pink is rarely associated with dread, the most unsettling scenes here are bombarded with this vibrant hue, giving the movie a beautifully unique aesthetic. Number 7. Sphere this adaptation of Michael Crichton's classic novel opens with a science team discovering a colossal orb while researching in the Pacific Ocean. After setting up a base nearby, each crew member feels compelled to touch the mysterious sphere. After coming into contact with it, unexplainable phenomena start occurring in the facility with lethal results. Yeah, lethal's never good. Although Sphere has plenty of jump scares, it's the ever-present tension that stands out here. When the facility is attacked by a giant squid or the scientists inexplicably teleport, it's obvious the Sphere is to blame. Because the gargantuan globules capabilities are revealed, until the third act though, viewers are left to figure out what's going on. Even though Sphere could have been a schlocky B-movie, it's elevated by the solid performances and sizzling chemistry of Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, and of course the great Samuel L. Jackson. Like most of Crichton's stories, Sphere is a thought-provoking cautionary tale emphasizing how humanity's thirst for knowledge and tamper with the unknown has dire consequences. Number 6. Pandorum While reflecting on the millennium's most underrated sci-fi movies, Pandorum often springs to mind. Upon its release, Christian Alvart's space thrill made little impression at the box office or with critics, despite being, you know, quite good. Taking place on an intergalactic arc, crew members Bauer and Peyton awaken from hyperspace and do all they can to ensure the vessel reaches its destination. Soon after, they learn their spacecraft is infested with hostile monsters of unknown origins. After Bauer discovers other crew members have woken up, he realizes nothing on the ship is as it seems. 
Although Pandorum starts off as a generic alien feature, it has plenty of tricks up its sleeve. Not only is it imaginatively haunting and action-packed, the film is full of jaw-dropping surprises too. Despite having franchise potential though, Pandorum's underwhelming box office return sadly killed any chance of a sequel, which is a massive, massive shame. Number 5. The Endless Although the science fiction elements aren't incorporated into The Endless for almost an hour, the film sucks viewers in immediately with its original and compelling premise. Former cult members and siblings Aaron and Justin Smith decide to return to their religious commune, Camp Arcadia, after failing to adjust to modern society. Even though the group members act welcoming, it isn't long before the Smith brothers start having strange encounters involving suicide, secret messages, time loops, and an entity beyond human comprehension. One of the key aspects that makes The Endless work is the atmosphere here. There's a bad vibe the moment Justin and Aaron set foot in Camp Arcadia, despite the pleasantries they receive. Most of the bonkers stuff occurs off screen, allowing viewers to draw their own conclusions to what's going on. Despite the minuscule budget, the filmmakers devised special effects to put some Hollywood blockbusters to shame here. There are so many things to analyze about The Endless, meaning this trippy feature can be watched a dozen times and be interpreted a different way every time. And because The Endless is a loose sequel to the horror flick Resolution, it's recommended to watch that first to fully appreciate the saga as a whole. Number 4. Bad Taste Long before his Lord of the Rings trilogy, Peter Jackson worked on Alien Splatterfest Bad Taste. Now, it's quite apparent this horror comedy isn't meant to be taken too seriously. After all, it's about bloated creatures from space trying to turn humans into fast food. And even though Bad Taste is supposed to be done in, well, bad taste, the effort put into this project is staggering. Despite its low budget and limited resources, every frame oozes with enthusiasm and care. It's a clear demonstration of Jackson's knack for turning the greatest limitations into opportunities for creativity and innovation. Bad Taste is a blast from start to finish. Every scene is filmed with a barrage of slapstick comedy, hilariously over-the-top violence, and frankly, stupidly daft one-liners. Despite its silly nature, there are still plenty of moments as gag-inducing as Saw or The Exorcist. Anyone who doesn't wince while watching Derek stepping on his own brain or the gang gargling alien puke is clearly made of stone. Even though Bad Taste received a bit of recognition after the Lord of the Rings became a global phenomenon, it still deserves more praise. Come on, go and see it. Number 3. The Void In The Void, Sheriff Carter tries to protect the occupants of an understaffed hospital while it's being invaded by cult members. After a dark power infects the building, nurses and patients begin losing their minds, killing one another or mutating into hellish creatures. Although most creature features love to show off the big scary monster, The Void focuses on fleshing out its ensemble and creating a conflict of interest between them. With everyone arguing about what to do or how to deal with the threat, the tension never wavers. And because of this, viewers are more invested in these characters, making it scarier when they're attacked or possessed by these abominable beasts. Despite an almost non-existent budget, these special effects here are stellar, especially the prosthetics used to bring the nightmare fuel critters to life. However, the most chilling aspect of The Void is the concept of the unknown. Rather than bogging the story down with convoluted lore, little is explained about the cult of the monsters or the meaning behind the recurring triangle symbol. Although The Void has a deluge of squeamish imagery, it's the unexpected aspects that are sure to cause many restless nights. Number 2. A triangle in Triangle, Jess and her friends are on a sailing trip when their yacht is suddenly capsized during a storm. The group jump on a passing ship, believing they've been rescued. But to their surprise, the vessel is completely empty. Well, apart from that one masked maniac who intends to kill them all. Triangle is one of those films where it's best to go in relatively blind. At first, horror fans should have an idea where the plot is going, to the point where it feels formulaic and predictable. But once we reach the halfway point, abrupt subplots and character arcs are thrown in that ugly guaranteed to sideswipe anyone. Without giving too much away, there is far more going on in Triangle than can be picked up on during the first watch. As the mystery unfolds, viewers will realize they misconstrued earlier scenes, causing them to then reevaluate the narrative and character motivations. But just as you think you've got a handle on things, another bombshell is dropped, forcing you to reassess that previous reassessment. Confusing stuff, but entertaining stuff nonetheless. Number 1. Coherence Coherence opens with eight friends gathering for a dinner party to witness a passing comet. When the celestial body appears, the power goes out in the entire neighborhood, save for one house. To the group's disbelief, this house is an exact replica of the house they're residing in. Stranger still, it's occupied by their doubles. Despite the nutty premise, the presentation of Coherence couldn't be simpler. There are no elaborate set pieces or special effects, and the violence and gore is minimal. 
Instead, the film focuses on the ensemble trying to understand something unfathomable. Because coherence doesn't rely on sci-fi or horror tropes, the scenario pit is more authentic and therefore more frightening. As the night wears on, paranoia sets in, causing the friends to turn on each other. Some of them become convinced there is a doppelganger among them, while others believe the whole situation is a mass hallucination. And just as they start piecing everything together, something else happens that makes everything ten times more confusing. Coherence may well seem like an impossible nut to crack, but its psychedelic premise and mercurial group dynamic will leave you both mesmerized and pretty darn terrified. So that's our 10 more great sci-fi horror movies no one ever talks about. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn those notification bells on, and come and give us a follow on X at What Culture Horror. While you're there, you can find myself at Culture Left Peg, but most importantly, be sure to have the best possible day. Whether you're doing something or whether you're doing absolutely nothing, I hope it goes well for you. I've been Andrew Pollard from What Culture Horror, and I will catch you down the road.